A man has heard rumors that her husband is a child molester and a peeping Tom, and she fears that it is true. You see, three years ago, Michael was arrested and charged with indecent exposure to a child. But due to a lack of evidence, the charges were dropped. A man has stood by her man for three years, but recently, two different women came forward accusing Michael of peeping through their windows. Take a look. In 2011, I was accused of touching a little girl, which I was nowhere near the little girl. I didn't even know who this girl was. I know that all she wanted to do was play with my daughter. And the next thing I know, I was being arrested. I was charged with decent exposure with a minor. Eventually, the charges were dismissed. My wife stood by me. After this, we moved for a fresh start. Then more rumors came up to my wife. Rumors saying that I was peeking in windows, which I wasn't. I was originally walking around trying to get internet signal so I can call my parents, talk to them. Now people are telling my wife that I'm the neighborhood peeping Tom. I play a role-playing video game online. I have a virtual family. My real wife, Amanda, believes that I'm cheating on her with my virtual wife. My virtual wife, she's contacted me leaving inappropriate messages, uh, want me to do things with her on webcam, and I try not to. I'm not a peeping Tom, I'm not a child molester, I'm not a cheater. I'm hoping me and my wife could continue our marriage happily, and I'm hoping Steve can clear all this up. I want to make sure that he's not a child molester, mostly, because I have a five-year-old daughter, and if I find out that he's lying about that, I, I, I'm going to go crazy because I don't want her to grow up with a man like that. And this was an incident that happened a few years ago where um, there was accusations made, there was charges brought. Uh, they were dropped because yes. of the lack of evidence. And you, you stood by him during this. I stood by him because I didn't believe he could do such a thing. Right. And, you know, but he's been lying to me recently about things. He was doing volunteer work and he got relocated. And he told me that it was because he was listening to cussing music at a Christian place. And then I asked the caseworker what really happened is because he looked at a woman after she sighed because she had a long day, and he said, sounds to me like you had a good orgasm. And so he lied to me about that. And I told him, I was like, well, if you could lie to me about something small, what else are you lying to me about? You right. know, and that's what made me look on his Skype. Um, he was talking about he has a virtual family. He's he has a virtual family. wife, and she wants him to play out some sexual stuff. Why does he have that when he has a real family and a real wife? That's what I ask him. I don't know. In the past, I used to. I mean, I would we was doing that together, but we I was with his virtual wife on there. It was escape from reality, but I was right. with him on there. But then it started taking control of our life. I took a break from it, and I right. told him too. I said, "If you love me and you want my marriage to work, you would delete that and not go back on it until I'm ready to, and we could be together on there too." Right. But he never did. He how, deleted it. But then a month yeah. later, he was right back on it. Uh, how long you been married? Eight years. Eight years, long time. Um, now, uh, and, uh, and other than that, he's been accused in a couple different places of being a peeping Tom. Yes. Uh, how did that come about? Well, the um, first time was when the molestation charge came up. Um, we were, he loves to get to know all neighbors, which is, I think, why we always have issues because, you know, not everybody wants you in their business. So, you know, and there was this one incident with a young lady and she told him, I feel uncomfortable around you. Please stop coming. Well, he went up there one day because she said something about needing a ride to the grocery store to her, her neighbor. And he went up there supposedly to give her a ride to the grocery store while we were going. And when he came back, the law all of a sudden showed up. And I'm thinking, oh, God, now what? Sure enough, it was because she caught the law because he was supposedly looking in her bathroom window while she was getting in the shower. And then what was the other incident? The other incident was, um, it was an older lady this time, and um, supposedly he was looking in her windows at night with her, his hand down his, her, his pants. And his excuse, like he said on the video, was because he was trying to get internet signal to call his 
what does he do for a living? Nothing. <laughs> he doesn't work? No. He had one job that was seasonal that last year. So and it you, lasted six you, months. You work? 12 hour shifts, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday. You work six, six days a week, 12 hours a day? Yep. And what does he do during that time? Nothing. On the computer, I guess, because I come home, got to clean, got to cook my dinner, got to help he my daughter. He doesn't cook dinner for you? No. He doesn't clean? No. He's on the computer the whole time? The whole time. It ignores me. So, like, he's got a triple header coming up. Uh, we have the, whether he did this with the child, um, we did this whether he's peeping Tom, and then whether he's cheating on you. So if he would fail any of them, would you stay with him? No. No. Eight years we've been married and you only had one damn job. One! For six months. I come home, I gotta clean, because you don't do nothing at home, because you're too busy on the computer. You tell me that crap about, oh, she come on to me. So tell me, how is she coming on to you when you asked her if she was horny? I didn't. Bull, I seen it! She, Two weeks ago! You she, said, are you horny? She said, mm-hmm. You said, I can't, Amanda's around. Amanda. No, no more Amandas. I'm done, Michael. You better hope and pray you pass every single question, because I mean, I'm done. I'm done. As far as I'm concerned, marriage will be over, and I will walk away. So when you were 21, and you're 29 now, you've had, you worked six months in those years. Besides when he worked before we were married at yeah. Walmart. Yeah, for but six I'm saying, I've worked 21. there for I've worked there for about. It a must close be nice to be able to sit at home while she works 12-hour shifts, huh? Actually, I'm on the computer most of the time looking for jobs. Oh, looking for, yeah. Either, looking yeah. for online job or. 12 hours for, you're looking for online jobs. I get up and uh, clean up after myself. Do you ever look at porn? Myself. Never. Oh yeah. You never look at porn and that was 12 hours a day. Look me on the eye and say you never look at porn. I never looked at porn. You, I caught you a long time ago, and your excuse was I was scratching an itch. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, okay. She caught you masturbating. Yeah, and that was what, his excuse, it, I was scratching an itch. Yeah. I was scratching. On an, on webcam in front of another one. No, the webcam wasn't even on. Um, you're accused of child molestation, peeking through windows and cheating on your wife. Have you done any of those things? No. No. Why do you think you're accused of all these separate incidents? Um, trust issues. With who? Her, uh, trust issues on her past. Yeah, but these aren't the people. That, she's not the one accusing you. Women have said, hey, this guy was looking through my bathroom window. Oh, this I haven't looked in anybody's bathroom window. Really, why, I haven't. He's asking why you, why are you getting accused Why do of women it? accuse you of it? Don't you know. don't know. You have I no idea. I do not know. Because I don't really, I What about this child that said, you know, he was naked, he rubbed up on me? I never did that. No. I was like from he, uh, where the door is to right here. Now, she and says, if you fail any of these lie detector tests, you're gone. I'm not doing it no more. Do you want I to stay married to her? Well. Yes. You love her? I love her to death. You love her to death? Yes. You do? I mean, I can tell you the truth. I cried in prison because I was scared that I would lose her and my you daughter. You went to prison? I went not to prison, but the jail house. It was not actually. prison. It was jail. You stayed there over the Thank weekend. You. Oh, oh. It was a, at the time. For the, of, for the molestation, what did you see in him where you said, I got to marry this guy. When I first met him, it was like love at first sight. And he was not the same person then. What was he, he like then? It was sweet, caring, and I could tell you, because he was actually working at the time. And right. And so then what, what was I, his downfall? What happened? I don't, as soon as we had our daughter. It was no. like. It sounds like as soon as you bought no. a computer. All right, uh, this one is concerning whether he cheated on you. Uh, we asked Michael, 
Since age of 18, have you had sexual contact with any other woman besides Amanda? He said no. Since age of 18, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman besides Amanda? He said no. And to both those questions, he told the truth. That one's too easy, though. Now, these are the more serious ones here. We asked you, have you ever peeked through a neighbor's window for your own sexual gratification? You said no. Have you had cyber sex with women you've met over the internet? You said no. And to those two questions, you did not tell the truth. Peep it in? I didn't peep in nobody's window. Where did you really? Why did you fail it? I didn't peep in nobody's window, babe. Michael. I really haven't. And then this is probably the most serious of all the questions on the lie detector test. Have you ever inappropriately touched any child under the age of 16 years old? He said no. Have you ever exposed your private parts to a child under the age of 16 years old? He said no. And to those two questions, Michael did not tell the truth. I did not! Babe! Babe! Wait! Babe, I did not! Babe, I did not! Turn away from me! Baby, I did not do those things! The first one where you passed, where you didn't cheat on her. But then the rest, you're, you're falling apart. I didn't do that. Okay. I didn't do that. Uh, so he got, he got off of his charges because they were dropped. But he, he, he fails. Um, and he fails for, you know, peeking through women's window, invasion of privacy, everything else. He's going around doing that. Uh, I gotta say, <laughs> he does nothing for you besides besides anything. embarrassing you, right? Just Creepy. Leave. No, I love you, baby. Please, I didn't do any of that. Please. You have no idea how hard I'm trying not to just stump your ass no, right now. I don't care. I wouldn't want you to do it for anything. What are you gonna do? And I mean, you gotta you you gotta say. Uh, if you don't leave this guy, your child is going to be screwed up because you got Mr. Creepster in the house. I'm not going to. Baby, I didn't do anything. He's, I'm done. Okay, Baby, so you say, I didn't do anything. you tell him, you tell him right now, get the hell out of here. Please, before I stomp your ass. Seriously. Do it. Baby, please she do it. She said, get the hell out of here. You better leave. Get going. <laughs> you deserve better than that, and you're never going to get anything from that guy. Now it's time for you to be happy. I hope you find somebody. Good luck to you. Take care of your child. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.